Hi, hello viewers. Thanks for all the support. Today we are going to see digital transformation. Due to digital transformation, we can see lot of uh, IT jobs are opening now. And we are going to see what are digital skills and how we can learn that one. Okay, let's see DevOps and MLOps. Um, if you are not sure about MLOps, you can watch our previous video about AI world. In that we explained machine learning and uh, AI related uh, operation and everything. So MLOps is more into like uh, machine learning model development and deployment. DevOps is the most wanted uh, skill. It's needed nowadays in IT. Within DevOps, we have uh, different uh, technology like uh, Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, even DevOps within cloud also. Docker means like, uh, say for example, initial days like uh, when we develop any Java application, we deploy that application into application server. So that application server might be Linux machine or Windows machine. Sometime when application started scaling, you will see memory issue. In that time, uh, we need to depend on that whole machine. To solve this particular uh, issue only, uh, Docker came up. Docker means like within one particular uh, application server, you can have multiple Docker. Within multiple Docker, you can have multiple application uh, running. Say for example, within one Docker, you can run Java application. In another Docker, you can run uh, .NET application. So that means within one particular application server, you can have multiple application running without any memory issue. So in that case, the Docker is very much useful. So also once you uh, say, for example, if you are developing any desktop application, once you deploy that one into your Docker environment, if you want to move that entire application code, simply moving this Docker to another application server, that will uh, make your process very simple. You no need to say, set up each and every application settings while moving from one particular application server to another application server. So that's the reason Docker came. So then what is the difference between Docker and Kubernetes? Say for example, um, if you want to have multiple Docker, in each Docker you want to run different application like .NET, Java application or Python application. All this application is a kind of enterprise application. In that time, all this application uh, from each Docker container need to interact with each other. That time we need to have uh, some orchestra uh, kind of uh, central authority who need to make this Docker need to be in track with each other. So that's where uh, Kubernetes come and play its picture. So Kubernetes have the scalability option to have multiple Docker. Multiple Docker can be deployed into Kubernetes pod. That pod is uh, distributed among different nodes. Say for example, uh, any of this application is growing uh, as per uh, uh, when the uh, more data is coming, uh, if application is started scaling, in that time if this pod is running in a different node, even though one particular node is failing, it will keep on running. So there is no um, risk of failure of the application. Also interaction between the different application within different Docker it will happen through Kubernetes orchestration. So that's what uh, Kubernetes is uh, more efficient compared to Docker. And Terraform. Terraform is like a kind of a infrastructure tool uh, for all the infrastructure as code application. So using that you can uh, build your configuration script. That script will uh, uh, useful when you want to move the data from uh, storage from your cloud to uh, data warehouse within your cloud. Say for example, if you are moving some structural or unstructural data from your cloud storage to your uh, cloud data warehouse, that time you can write the configuration script using Terraform. And one more advantage is like uh, using Terraform, once you build that script, uh, you can use in multi-cloud. Say for example, if you are using AWS and you build your configuration script in Terraform, you can use same thing when you when you are planning to move to different cloud in future. So that is like uh, using Terraform. It's a one-time effort. You can use it in multiple cloud. 
so nowadays a uh, lot of uh, openings are coming for coming for uh, devops within cloud also that may be aws azure or uh, google cloud platform for all this skill uh, nowadays lot of certification also coming up uh, here and all um, here you see like three uh, certification like um, certified kubernetes administrator so this is kind of like uh, admin kind of activities you will learn through the certification how to set up kubernetes and what are the configuration things you can do and the second one is certified kubernetes application developer here you will uh, Uh, learn like how to do application deployment using kubernetes then terraform associate it is more into like how to create a, a, a configuration script using terraform within uh, cloud and what are the things you need to know all this you will learn through terraform associate if you uh, study and get all the certification it is uh, much wanted nowadays in it also um, if you want to do specific devops certification with respect to any of this three cloud aws and azure and uh, google cloud that is also available even that certification also have a lot of value thank you okay now let's see next interesting uh, topic data engineering as you all know like uh, nowadays the data is growing and uh, uh, work related to big data also it's uh, growing now so lot of big data de developers are on demand so since big data is growing digital transformation also uh, kind of thing like uh, it is work with uh, big data only so in that case uh, the skills which needed for data engineering that is also on demand so let's see what are the skills it is needed in uh, data engineering uh, within data engineering initial days we started with the hadoop and the hive Uh, it is like mostly like a kind of data lake there we dump all our uh, unstructured data da structural data everything into hadoop using hive will uh, query that one so that is what happened uh, like 4 uh, to 5 years back and all recently nowadays uh, people are started using spark because it is having in memory so uh, data transformation and the speed will be very good uh, compared to Uh, map produce that we used in initial days with hadoop so people do this uh, data transformation on big data on on premise uh, nowadays people are moving to cloud also to set up all this big data system that we'll see next uh, next one is kafka uh, kafka for streaming data say for example if you have a, a enterprise application like e commerce application or a banking application in that application and all you will get a streaming uh, transaction if customer make any transaction immediately the data will come to back end so those kind of data only we call it as a streaming data in that time uh, we use kafka messaging queue uh, using kafka we will receive all the uh, data through topics and we will try to store that one into Uh, our big data system either in hadoop or uh, data warehouse so that is also people use in on premise nowadays this is also uh, moving to cloud so if you see like uh, uh, top cloud providers like uh, providers like uh, aws azure and gcp they have their uh, cloud service uh, to set up this uh, big data and uh, kafka streaming kind of thing uh, using their uh, messaging system like uh, pubsub or uh, amazon kinesis so like that uh, every uh, cloud provider have their own uh, big data services as well as uh, messaging queue services also so nowadays companies are planning to move their on premise uh, big data system to cloud so there is a huge demand for uh, cloud data engineer also nowadays so uh, for all these technologies let's see what are the certification is needed uh, if you want to learn spark and hadoop then you can um, start thinking about uh, doing cloud or spark hadoop developer certification through that you can learn uh, spark uh, and hadoop related technical skills in case if you want to learn about uh, cloud related data engineering then uh, first one is the aws certified big data specialty using this you can understand about uh, aws uh, 
EMR and AWS Redshift. So EMR is nothing but setting up big data system within AWS and Redshift is a kind of a data warehouse. So there you can store all your structural data. Uh, then uh, data engineering on Microsoft Azure. Using this certification you learn about uh, how to set up your big data uh, system in Azure cloud. Uh, there you learn about Databricks, Azure Snapsys, uh, this and all kind of different uh, data warehouse. There you can uh, transform all your big data uh, into different format whatever you need for your uh, data warehouse. And the last one is uh, most demand uh, nowadays is uh, Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer. There you learn about uh, how to set up a big data system within uh, Google Cloud Platform. Uh, in that you will learn uh, uh, about BigQuery. Uh, using BigQuery you can uh, pull different uh, structural and structural data and you can transform that one. Even you can build the machine learning model also using BigQuery. Thank you. Okay, now let's see data science. Uh, Nowadays, another most wanted skill is data science. We we have uh, our previous video about uh, AI world. In that, we did uh, we discussed detailed about uh, AI, machine learning, NLP, and deep learning, and their uh, use cases also. You can watch that video for a complete understanding. Now we'll see uh, what are the different options to get certified for all this uh, within data science. For machine learning, uh, if you want to understand the concept, uh, there is a very good uh, course by Stanford University. Uh, it was uh, done by Andrew NG. That is a, a very a very good course to understand machine learning concept. Once you understand that one, uh, if you want to understand how uh, we can do same machine learning within cloud. Uh, say for example, uh, if you want to do ML model development and ML ops uh, within AWS, there is a situation called AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty. In that you will understand how to develop a model in Amazon SageMaker. Uh, using Amazon SageMaker you can develop a model and you can uh, uh, deploy uh, in production also using ML ops within uh, SageMaker. Another option is uh, within Azure. Azure also have uh, Azure ML Studio. Using Azure ML Studio, you can develop a model and you can deploy uh, in production scale using Azure ML Ops uh, features. For that, you can uh, um, learn this Microsoft Certified Azure Data Scientist Associate Certification. There, you can learn all about ML Studio. And uh, final one is Google Cloud Certified Professional Machine Learning. Here you will learn about uh, how to develop a machine learning model within Google Cloud using AI platform and also you will understand their different uh, AI services uh, to develop a model and deploy a model in production scale. Thank you. Okay, now let's see cloud computing. Uh, cloud computing is the most wanted uh, skill nowadays as part of a uh, digital transformation. So far we have seen like uh, DevOps, Data Engineering and Data Science. All these three topics are kind of, uh, um, each one is like uh, on notion only. If you start uh, uh, spending and learning all this, it will take minimum six to one years. Same way cloud computing also, it will take uh, minimum one to two years to understand all the service for each uh, cloud providers like AWS and Azure and uh, Google Cloud Platform. So since we already discussed about uh, DevOps uh, and data engineering and data science, uh, as part of cloud, uh, five major things uh, all cloud they are focusing. First one is networking security and uh, compute engine, app engine, Kubernetes engine. This and all comes under uh, DevOps only. Only thing in the networking and security, it is like uh, say for example uh, in on-premise, you already having so much of server is running okay you need to do all your uh, maintenance for that ser uh, servers periodically using your manpower but when you move all this infrastructure to cloud cloud will take care of everything and uh, you no need to worry about maintenance and all 
but similar way security also it will be good in uh, uh, cloud so that's why uh, people are moving to cloud nowadays uh, in that time you need to set up your vpn and router and you need to do security features according to each cloud like aws and also and gcp so networking security compute engine app engine fiber engine everything comes under devops only almost and uh, database database uh, we already saw most of the things in data engineering topic like uh, we discussed about uh, aws redshift aws emr then uh, with respect to azure we saw azure databricks and uh, with respect to gcp we saw big query big query also they have a big table cloud sql so like that you will see lot of things uh, uh, for structural database relation relational database as well as unstructured database like no sql database cosmo db then uh, dynamo db so all this will learn and storage is nothing but data lake uh, according to each uh, cloud only the name will differ s3 for aws and blob storage for azure and cloud storage for uh, gcp it is like a, a kind of data lake there you can dump all your uh, structural as well as unstructured data similarly uh, each cloud they are providing uh, services for uh, artificial intelligence also to develop a model uh, on machine learning deep learning and nlp and the computer vision so that also will learn that's what i'm saying uh, this cloud computing itself a big ocean either you can take uh, one specification like uh, go with the devops or go with the data engineering or go with the data science so if you want to do um, architect kind of certification to understand all this uh, five uh, different services within any one cloud platform that is also possible uh, through this certification uh, if you do aws certified solution architect then you will understand all this five different service within uh, aws cloud platform similar way uh, microsoft has uh, certified azure solution architect this will cover all this uh, five different services within azure uh, cloud platform and the last one is like uh, this is most wanted uh, certification nowadays in market google cloud certified professional cloud architect using this certification you will learn all this five different services like networking devops data engineering data science ai service within uh, google cloud i think we covered almost all the uh, most de demanding digital skills as part of uh, digital transformation nowadays happening in it if you try to uh, learn and uh, um, get certification of any one of this uh, areas like devops data engineering or data science definitely there is a lot of scope for uh, next five years i think this video is uh, helpful for all your uh, learning thank you and please uh, share and subscribe thank you